I'm Molly Davis. I was born in Norfolk, Virginia, and I was adopted by two parents who took me to Greensboro, North Carolina, and that was where I was raised. My parents both were in creative fields. My father was a clothes designer and my mother was a painter as well. Because of that, I was raised in an environment that made design, attention to details, paramount in everything that we did. My mother in our home, in every single corner, every place she looked, created a still life that emphasized color, texture, pattern. No doubt that those North Carolina influences still stay with me now. On the weekends, we used to go to the coast of North Carolina, to the Outer Banks, and all wherever the Outer Banks were antique wooden boats that I sought out. And I still look for those in all my harbor scenes around the world when I travel. After graduation from art school in the South, Molly came to Colorado and opened an advertising agency where she designed and illustrated for a variety of clients. This was really where she honed her skills as an artist in draftsmanship and design and had to employ critical thinking in every project. She has been a professional painter for over 20 years now. Her interest in painting varies according to the experiences of her life and are reminiscent of her heritage. Whether it's an aspen grove, panorama, or street scene in Europe, or grapes in a vineyard, Davis's goal is to convey a sense of place or a detail that was overlooked by the casual passerby. Currently, I'm really excited about a project that I'm working on right now. It started in the Boulder Creek last year, which is right across the street from my home. I have been going out and painting on location up that creek at various spots. Each spot will be documented by a GPS coordinate, and those coordinates will be available to people to download and go to that exact spot and see where I created the painting. Now Molly does at least one international trip a year and over the years has spent more time on each trip living with the people while becoming immersed in their culture. Many of these trips began as painting workshops where she teaches plein air observations. Afterward, Davis paints on her own, producing, over a couple of weeks, 40 to 60 paintings and over 100 sketches on most trips. She attempts an exhaustive portrayal of the fleeting seconds of light and conveys her own personal conversations with the landscape to her viewers. Those small glimpses into the people's lives and their villages reflected on small on-site studies of windows, gardens, vineyards, and the people doing their everyday work is the glue that holds her shows together when she returns to express those influences in subsequent larger paintings. Ninety percent of my work is done on location, which is called plein air painting. And my larger studio pieces are translated out of those studies when I come back to the studio. My friends say that I must have 36 hours in every day to accomplish what I do. But I have a zest for painting and a zest for life that I want to get at every single day. My life, I feel, is fueled by how lucky I am to be painting for a living. I'm excited every day about coming in the studio and playing and trying to work on new ideas that I constantly have, and I hope that I will be able to translate those. I feel like I have the skills finally to express what I want on the canvas for my collectors.